Okay, so before we start doing that insert part, I just want to maybe make some modifications to this top piece. Let's grab that. We'll hit Alt Q. And we really don't need to have these polygons on the inside here um, anymore. So let's delete them out. We're just going to go on the top view and just select these ones. All right, just those inner ones there, we can delete those. And I'm also just going to maybe straighten out a couple edges here. All right, so I'm just going to grab those ones there. And let me undo that for a sec. Let's make sure we have our edge constraint on just in case. And then we'll just straighten those out. And you don't really need to do this if you don't want to. Um, but if you want to have it a little bit cleaner, you can just straighten out some of these twisted edges. Okay, and it looks like we have an extra vert there. Let's check it out. Yeah, we do, right there. Not sure where that bastard came from, but we'll just weld them over here. And then we'll just straighten out that edge. Okay, just like that. All right, and we can really, you know, take out some of these edges now. Um, these ones here aren't doing us any good. Um, so let's loop those out. Let's grab this one and this one, this one and this one and loop. Okay, and we'll control backspace them. Okay, I think I'll leave these ones here. Uh, we're not actually gonna quad this up. Uh, it's really not necessary for what we're doing here. So we're just gonna leave it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is try to add some support to this. Okay, and because the shape is so weird, uh, the easiest way for us to do that will probably be with um, an inset again. So let's go over to Polygon. Let's grab all these polygons here at the back. Okay, so select all those back ones. And let's just inset this here. All right, so we'll do an inset. Take that up a little bit more. Let's do maybe like 2.5 on this. Okay, and that's gonna give us uh, a corner-wise edge there, which is not what we want. We want this edge to go straight down to the bottom and this one to come and wrap around the corner. Uh, but we'll fix that in a minute. We don't need to do it right now. All right, we'll do a similar thing here on the front. So let's grab these inner polygons. Okay, and make sure you're not on the move tool when you select those. Okay, so just those guys there. And inset them the same way. Okay. All right, and we'll do the top here as well. Um, we're gonna need to add a support edge around the outside, but let's grab these polygons first. We won't do all of them, we'll just do these ones. And I'm just wondering if it would be faster for us to do it manually or do it all at once. Let's add an extra edge here first. Okay, so I'm gonna grab these edges here at the back, these ones, and we're gonna connect this up with an extra segment here. All right, so I'm just gonna do one in the center, and we'll make planar on Z. Nope, X. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, and the reason why I'm doing that is so that I don't have that polygon selection going all the way to the back. Okay, so if we go back into polygon, we're just gonna delete, or uh, deselect these ones here. All right, so just around the front. And we'll inset these guys the same amount. And now we'll just go into the top view and we'll just weld some of these points here to get rid of this extra edge loop that we don't need. Okay, and we could actually probably just loop it out. It might even be faster. All right, so let's grab those edges there as well as this one and do a loop. Okay, just these ones here that were created by the inset. And let's maybe take out, let's just do control backspace here for a second. Okay, we'll just take out this edge. Let's leave that one for now. We'll clean that up afterwards. Okay, so we just want that edge going around the hole here. All right, and now we'll go around the back and we'll do the same thing on the top ones. So let's select these guys, these polygons actually. OK, 
okay and we'll just inset these the same amount okay and again we don't need to have these loops right now so let's take them out so this one this one and this one loop them and control backspace them okay so they'll give us support around these uh, we still need to do obviously some work here So I'm going to go into the front view, let's hit Z, turn our shading off F3. Okay, what we want to do is we want to continue uh, a support edge along the bottom here. Okay, let me get rid of this green color. Um, it's pretty terrible to look at. All right, so let's go into maybe cut. And let's cut, say from this vert here, maybe even the edge. Maybe let's do the vert. I don't want to cut around the corner if I don't have to. Okay, so we'll carry this over to here and then over to the outside edge. Okay, and then we'll continue this loop here down to the bottom. Okay, we don't want to have that cornerwise edge there. Okay, like that. And then we can take this edge out by removing it. Like that. And essentially what we need to do here is connect up these verts in the corner. So let's just grab them there and hit Z so we can zoom in. Okay, I want to continue this loop down and this one across. All right, so let's do the side one first. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to cut, cut from this vert down to this bottom edge, trying to maintain the same angle. And then we'll just cut this over to this edge, like that, and this one to this one. Turn off cut and get rid of those two diagonal edges with control backspace. Okay, I think that's fine. Uh, it's a little bit out of whack, but that's okay. It's not gonna make any uh, noticeable difference. Okay, so we're on this side, we'll do the same thing. In the front view, go back to cut. Cut from this vert here to the center edge. And then over to the far right edge. Okay, and then we'll continue this one to the bottom. And the side one to the bottom. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom in here again. Okay, we'll spin around the side. Back to cut. Cut this down, like so. And once again, this over to the center. And this one over to that. And let me just make sure I'm on the right angle here. Okay, that bird to that bird. Or you can use connect. Okay, and then we'll get rid of those two edges. So just remove those. Okay, and now we can get rid of that edge that was originally there by hitting control backspace. Okay, so that's supported properly there. We still need one on the outside and we also need to do a similar thing here on the back corners. Okay, so let's zoom in here. And again, we'll just do the same thing. Okay, and let me just zoom in here properly. Okay, so that one down and then across. And control backspace as a guy's out. Okay, we'll cut that edge over there in a second. Let's clean up the corner first over on the left side. Okay, and the other pieces won't be you know necessarily as tedious as this is. Um, it's just because of these weird angles that it's uh, you know the kind of thing that you have to take some time to support properly. Okay, so get those out of there, and then we'll go into the back view. And just cut these edges over to the side. Okay, so back to cut from this bird here, over to here. And then turn off cut and grab that cornerwise edge and control backspace it out. Let's actually just remove it so we don't remove that corner vert. And one more over here. 
Okay, so straight across over the edge and remove that guy. Okay, so I think that's all the ones we need. We do need to have one down the side here, and I'm just wondering if that's whacked out of position there again. Let me just unhide all here for a second. Okay, and again, we have a little gap there. I'm just gonna fix that quick. And this one's a little too far over. Okay, and later on, you know, when we have this all smoothed out, we can fix uh, some of this if we need to. It should be right on, but uh, sometimes, you know, actually move stuff. Okay, so let's hit Alt Q one more time. And if we do the smoothing on this now, it's going to be fine. We're not going to have any errors. Uh, but once we add thickness to uh, the sides here, it's going to give us uh, a weird edge over on the side because we didn't add a support edge along that side. Okay, so what we want to do here is add an extra loop just on the edge. Okay, so we'll do that on top view. And because these are curved, it's going to be a little hard for us to get even, but let's ring this edge here and also click this one and ring it. Okay, so we have the entire strip front to back. And we'll do a connect and we'll slide that over to the side. Okay, you can see on the top there, it's a lot closer to the edge than it is on the front, and that's just because of the width of these polygons here are a lot wider than these ones. Okay, so we'll line it up on top. Let's do something like that. And then we'll just manually move these over to even this edge out. Okay, in the front view. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Let's maybe move it over just a bit with our edge constraint. Deselect that one and we'll just push these over a little bit more so it's better support on the corner, like that. Okay, and then over on this side we'll do the same thing. All right, we'll check the back out in a minute, but let's do these ones first. So edge there, edge there, ring. Okay, and then connect it up. like that and just move these verts over okay just like that and let's do the back as well just check it out okay and you can see that's a little bit whacked out here so let's move these over Okay, so you just have it, you know, as even as you can get it going down the outside. Okay, so I think we're all done with that piece. Okay, so now what we're going to do is give it some thickness um, with the shell modifier. So let's delete this turbo smooth and add a shell. Okay, we want to do an inner mount. Okay, we don't want to extract the surface on the top, so we just want to push this in a bit. Okay, we also want to go down and make sure we have straight corners and inner faces selected. Okay, and let's give it a thickness of, it doesn't need to be too much, let's do maybe like five. Okay, let's check that out. Okay, and you're gonna have, you know, in here, uh, some inner penetrating polygons from that, but that's okay, we're gonna delete those out in a minute. We just want to make sure that we don't have anything like this. Okay, and that's just because we've taken it up too high. So we could fix that up by just welding it, but let's just crank it down a bit. Let's do maybe two. Okay, and that should be thick enough. I think, so let's test that. So what we're gonna do here is what we did earlier and put on an edit poly into polygon, delete the selection, turn off polygon, collapse the editable poly, put a turbo smooth on, and I just want to see if we need to smooth the outer edge or support the outer edge, and we do. So let's 
go back down to pulley and do a ring around the outside. Okay, so just ring one of those side edges and that should go around the entire thing. Okay, so we'll just add one extra loop here and we could probably do that right in the center. So we'll just do one second, no pinch, no slide, and okay. And re-enable the turtle smooth, two durations, and ice line. Okay, we should have a pretty uh, smooth piece here with no errors. Okay, so just check it out and make sure you have nothing uh, weird on it. Okay, so let's unhide all. And we'll just make sure that fits up with the rest of the pieces here. Let's also center its pivot point so we can rotate around properly. Okay, so. Okay, we'll probably give the door a little bit more thickness maybe later. Uh, you can see that we can see right, right inside there. Um, obviously when we render, that's gonna be in shadow so you won't be able to actually see through anything, but if we need to, I'll fix that. Okay, so that's the top done uh, for now. And we're gonna do a similar process on the other pieces. They'll be much easier for us to uh, do the support edges on. Um, I think the top is probably the worst piece.